Hey there, Strange America. It's me, Chris Peck, your fearless director, and I have a new friend with me. Who are you, sir? Yo, it's Rob One, poor guy rap in the building. I call him Manny. <laughs> Now, Manny and Susie were the only people who were willing to go down to Salt Lake City to pick up our RV six months later. It has been in the shop for six months. They've been telling us, oh, it's fine. They sent Manny and Jake down once already. What happened? Oh, man, that thing was not going nowhere. Like, it was, we were stopping on the highway, going. It was just shut down. We got started back up. Yeah. I love Utah, though. Yeah, Utah's nice. Yeah, we bought this Airstream and they said it was gonna work like it was brand new from Airstream Las Vegas. And uh, at the end of our second trip, the first maiden voyage of this, what do we call this? This silver hog right here, this white whale, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, it broke down in Salt Lake City, so a few of us drove home and the rest of us flew home. So here we are five days from our next big adventure and we have to drive this halfway across the country from Salt Lake City to Minneapolis if this thing actually makes it home this time. So we're gonna try to drive this bitch home in 24 hours, maybe stop a few places along the way, but this whole video is about our struggle to get back home before <laughs> our next trip. Do you sell um, like charger kits for jump starting? What's going on, Chris? Well, the boys at the dealership, good people, just just great people. They left us with the dead battery. I noticed that there was a battery off to the side of our vehicle. I wish I would have filmed it so you guys believe me, but uh, yeah. Um, Whenever we turn the gas off, we need to ask for a jump start from a stranger. Sorry we didn't film that. We just don't want to put anyone on the spot. We are in Wyoming at Little America. What did he say? Cut. cut. Oh, he said cut. Shit. What a night. We have been in this parking lot for 14 hours trying to get this car started. And luckily, with the help of Brooke and Bob, and I believe Walt from last night, we were able to get this started this morning. I am not mechanically gifted. Bob was freaking amazing. He was just like, yeah, you did it wrong. 
got us a new battery, even though we bought one last night. Uh, put it under warranty and then just switched out all the parts. About $500 later, $400 later, we don't know. Um, we're ready to head towards Laramie and we're not sure if this thing will start. Right now the uh, um, battery charge is at 13. It should be at 14 or 15 apparently. And we just need to make sure that it's at 13 before we try to start again. So we figured out we have one more problem at least with this vehicle. But we're just gonna fucking drive and uh, try to get home so we can make trip three. Like last night I thought I was gonna cancel trip three but now I'm just probably gonna be really late on some edits. Bye bye now. Bye bye for now. hotel in Rawlings, Wyoming, and we're going to stay here for a day or two. But yeah, we're pretty tired even though we haven't made it far. I'm just, I'm just dusty as hell. Um, maybe Manny's more interesting than me. Are you more interesting than me? No. What, what happened? Into your, you're hosting Today's now. Account. Today's account. Yeah, RV broke down, but it was cool. So my the guy driving the tow truck was dope. Got his name though. He never gave us. Uh, I, I asked, he never gave us. <laughs> yeah, he's a secret guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, now we at the uh, hotel. And it's, uh, it's an experience. And I'm gonna get some dinner, so we'll see you later, YouTubes. Trust the guy a million times more than Salt Lake City because he actually gives a fuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Those guys at Salt Lake City just wanted us out of there and then they were salty that it had to stay there again. Yeah. Fuck those guys. Those mm -hmm. are dickheads. Yeah, we almost got hit by fucking cars, bro, on the side of the road. Yeah. Fucking dickheads. They didn't do shit to it. said it was perfectly fine. And it's surprising that that's the only place that does RVs in Salt Lake City. It's fucking ridiculous. Because, like, in these small towns, there's two or three guys that'll take care of it. I brought a bong to set today. Now you're riding dirty. Real quick, let me say, let me add you one thing. Cut me. What, fam? Alright, so after being stranded in Rawlings, Wyoming for nearly 24 hours, maybe a little more, RB Repair was super, super helpful. They have been the most helpful RV repair place ever. He came by, um, 
he came by um, on Labor Day of all days and started working on our machine and he charged us not that much money he was just very reliable honest his sister's cool too if you ever break down in Wyoming between uh, between Laramie and Little America this is the place to go Here we go all or nothing RV repair <laughs> Manny, you ready for your maiden voyage? Yeah, it's going down. Feel me. <laughs> hey, Susie's here. Hi. Person holding the camera the whole time. Woo <laughs> 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 vegetarian. It is 6.20 a.m. and we landed it in St. Paul. I didn't feel like waiting around to get a shot of the RV and the sunlight so you just gotta watch Susie and I drive home. Um, Long strange trip, we're gonna take it to another mechanic and hopefully we'll get it done in the next few days or we will have to postpone trip three, but hopefully not some content. We're gonna take a left up here. Goodbye.